under the palm trees in the California sun. Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun. I don't remember much from the night before, just from the human touch. Now I want more And now my memory Slowly coming back Cracks a smile upon my face Then it all turns black Something about tonight now it's gonna be your last And now my mind is a mess My heart is pounding fast Oh, I wish that you could stay You promise me that you will come back someday. So let's make the most of it. I remember what you said. Up in the ferries wheel, we're kissing in the shades. Oh, I wish that you could stay.
Hi everyone. What's going on? Welcome back to the city. It's time to start drilling like a villain, baby. I'm gonna make them big old billions. Woo! We've been spending a lot of money in this city on uh, getting ready to do our offshore oil rigs. We went from a million dollars to zero. We spent well over like two million dollars getting ready for this next phase. And man, oh man, is it going to be awesome. If you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that like button. Get her up well past 500 likes. We need it, folks, in order to see more of this series. So if you really like City Skylines and want to see more, that's the way to do it. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all here. Mr. Lee, I want at least two oil rigs. Big old oil rigs. All right, Lee. Thank you very much for your support. Good to see you all here. Welcome, everybody. You got your uh, computer fixed? Awesome. Wonderful. Good. I'm glad everybody's gotten found some way to get on here. All right, we're going to make ourselves some money here today by making some offshore oil rigs. So this should be a good time. There's one of our oil rigs there that's onshore. Um, and we pretty much drilled all the oil that's on land. Now we got to go out to sea. So let's get started. Welcome to Uthrisburg, where money is, uh, well, dwindling, actually. But we actually have a very powerful economy. We've just lowered our taxes to get our population up to 45,000 people. What? That is crazy. By the way, if you like what you're seeing here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's see a bunch of subscribers roll in. Let's go, folks. Let's see what happens. If you want to see more, click or tap that subscribe button. Let's watch all those wonderful uh, subscriptions coming. You guys are great. So thank you very much for being here, everybody. You're all welcome. All right, let's get the uh, tunes going. There we go. All right, we should have our music coming back. What's up, uh, Fr Fred? How's it going, man? All right, there is where we're going to be building our offshore oil rigs. So that's what we're building here today. We're going to taper up the shore a little bit and make it look all pretty. So it should be a good time. Hey, hey, there comes all those subscribers. Welcome. All right, we're going to build some more oil rigs over here, too. Looks like we got a lot of oil coming in. Not enough, though, for all of our plastics. Actually, where's our oil storage? Oh, wow. All right, looks like we're going to need some, some more oil. What? This one's 94% full. We should have zero problem getting supply over here. I think the oil industry just needs more workers. Let's take a look. How many workers do we have? Wow, 1,200. Yeah, we should be perfect. We should have more than enough workers. All right. Well, let's make some of that money back, and then we're going to start our offshore oil rigs. So there's uh, oil that's under the water, so we're going to drill that out first, I think, and then we're going to start drilling up on the land up there. And then let's um, let's see here. Let's make some cash. Do, do I have any more? Uh... Oh, yeah. Here's some. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at all those oil drills going. Woo. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. They're. Oh, man. They're just drilling up all that oil like crazy. You just gave 20 million? Well, thank you very much. Fred, appreciate it, man. Thanks for the 20 million, guys. Awesome. All right, let's uh, do a little onshore drilling, and then we'll do our offshore oil rigs. We'll do that towards the end. Let's try to make some more money here as we try to increase our population because we're going to need workers, man. We're going to need lots of workers here. Actually, let's build an industrial road. There we go. Industrial road, subscriber take me home. Out. Why, goodness, look at all the subscribers coming in. Woo, you guys are out of control today. Oh, boy. Bam. You know what would be really cool is an oil drilling game. That'd be fun. Like a, you know, like a simulator. That'd be cool. I'd like to see that. There we go. All right. And I think we need power. Yep. Sure do. Husker do. Sure do. Can you get this on Xbox? I think you can. I think it is available on consoles. That is for sure. Okay. So now we've got... Some more money coming in from the oil. We got lots. Apparently, we got tons of oil coming in, but it's not making it to where it needs to go. Like, look at this. Our oil uh, storage 292. It's 97% full, but yet they can't get the oil across the street. Come on, boys. Make it into petrol. Let's go. Got to make some fuel. Oh, actually, maybe we could make our... Uh, eh, I don't think our road's a problem. It's just the uh, game being weird. Shout out. Pat, thanks for subbing. Welcome aboard, everybody. Ooh, look at that traffic. Woo! Actually, we did a really nice thing in a previous stream to uh, alleviate our traffic problems. Look at all the traffic coming through over here at our toll booth. Wait, what is this one guy doing? Oh, there we go. Guy couldn't figure out what lane to get in. So, yeah, we've alleviated a big traffic concern over here by letting traffic flow this way. But we still have a lot of uh, traffic problems over here. But we'll get that sorted out later. We're not here for the. We're not here for traffic. We're here to make money. Speaking of which, we better adjust our taxes a little bit, otherwise we'll never get enough to build our offshore oil rigs. Let's go up to, uh, let's go up to 11% on all things here. You probably don't want to go over 12, that's a little too much. 11% is good. Actually, industrial. Maybe we'll, uh, put a little, little tax pressure on the industrial and the offices because they're in high demand, so we'll, uh, 
have that even out a little bit. There we go. There comes the money. Good. Oh my goodness. Drilling. There's an oil drilling game called Oil. Oh really? Is it a simulator like type game? That I'd like to play. Look at our beautiful farm here. That turned out wonderful. I think we have more space over here for more farms. But uh, let's get ready to do our offshore oil rig. So we got area over here for storage and to build another farm. We're definitely going to be building another farm and more of our city up here. Dude, our city's probably going to get up well over 100,000 population because we got plenty of room for this. And we can do more oil drilling over there. Actually, we could relocate these buildings, couldn't we? Maybe we should do that. No, they seem to be getting what they need. It's just a little too far away from the industries. Maybe I should put them down. When, as soon as these run out of... As soon as these have run out of oil, I'm going to start moving our oil plants over here then, because there's... We're just having too long of a lack of getting supply over there. Oh, this one doesn't even have power. Let's take a look at our oil... Yep, it's pretty much dried up over here, aside from, like, the cliffs and such. Dun, 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 dun. Do a sinkhole? What? Oh, I guess there will be a sinkhole if we do some mining. Actually, we can do a mine over here. We're going to do some mining up in these hills, too. Maybe we should get ready for our mine. But let's focus solely on oil today. We're going to focus on oil drilling. Our offshore oil rigs are going to make us a lot of money, so we want to make sure... Actually, I should build a road that goes down here, then, shouldn't we? Maybe we should build a big road that comes down here. So that way we can get traffic down to this second level. What's up, Pinto? Alright, let's build one down here. How's this gonna look? Oh, that's fine. There we go. Geo, thanks for renewing your membership. Thank you for clicking and tapping that join button. Welcome aboard. New member, enjoying all those new emotes? Enjoy all your wonderful emotes. Whoa, we're making a ton of cash. Whoa. Well, you increased taxes a little bit, and look at that. All right, we're going to make some more room for our people to live in here. I think. Bum, bum, bum. Now, these city builder games are just wonderful. I think we should build a big park. Oh, no, we have several big parks. Hmm. Maybe I could put industrial... Uh, let's put some offices over here, then. New member. Yay. Welcome. Welcome. What well, those... Uh, Notifications take a while to pop up, don't they? Lower taxes? What? No. We had lower taxes and we were losing money. We want to have higher taxes. We need money now to build these offshore oil rigs. We'll have higher taxes for now, and then when we're just rolling in the money from the uh, oil rigs, then we'll lower them again. We don't want to lower them now. We would have no money. And no money is no bueno, as they say in, in German. Actually, Raptor, that's a Germanic link. Yes, of course. Alright, let's see here. What do we got for fire protection? 37%. Whoa. We could do a little bit better, I think. And by the way, how's a farm field just going to burst into flame? How, how can that have high flammability? You know how it is. You're just driving along here in Iowa and just, just, just fire on all sides. You know how it is. You know, just casual drive through Iowa where everything's on fire. Will you be doing fall tonight? What? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. Lower taxes for more people? We did, but we were losing money. I explained to you what the plan was. M me want money. Half spend money, make money. Capitalism, good. Yeah, because if we if we have if we uh, if we lower taxes, then I'm not going to be making money. We have to we have to make more money. We gotta make money. Oh, Fallout 76. No, I. You guys aren't interested in that. I guarantee it. But if I ever do something, you got to make sure you click or tap that like button to let me know you want to see more. Otherwise, I just I don't think you want to see it. And we go on to new games, so let me know. I think we have to break down and finally build a wider highway. Actually, we have a six-lane road here. Oh, 
Oof. New subscriber shout out. Dodo Gaming, welcome aboard. Oh, also hi. Well, hi, Kim. Yeah, we need money. That's why we're uh, having our taxes up a little bit. We're just going to wait until we get closer to like half a million and then we're going to start on our oil rigs. We're going to start on our big old oil rigs here. Boy, I can't believe how busy this city is. We need like another room. Maybe we could have this road go off this way. Uh, I don't think we have any room over there. I just, I'm in love with our industrial facility. It looks so cool there. Can't wait to build more industry. All right, so we're just going to wait for more taxes to come in. Oh. Oh, yeah, are we done over here? No, not yet. As soon as these drills have run out of oil, we're going to move our oil facility over here. I think we should get ready to drill some more. Is there a way to see profits from just oil? Like city statistics. Uh, is there a way to just see... Like where you're making money. Oh wait, I bet the I bet the uh, building itself will tell us. Um, hmm. nine hundred and thirty-nine. Yeah, I don't believe that. Well, to be fair, that's just from straight-up oil sales. But our oil gets turned into plastic, which then gets sold over here. So it, we get money at the end of the supply chain, not just directly from oil. Build city bigger. Okay. Kim, thank you for the 20. Appreciate that. All right, we're running out of supply over here. We got, we got to keep things rolling. All right, let's keep building some oil roads up here. Some roads for them Earl. And then we're going to start mining. Oh, can't wait to do that. That's going to be cool because apparently we have ship connections. So we can like start, we can make a steel mill. Oh, this is going to be totally Uthrisburg. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's our oil facility up there. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not going to lower taxes. I don't, I don't know who you guys are. What are you guys, Republicans or something? What's going on? No, the reason taxes, I've explained it. Look, we're making 31,000. Otherwise, if I lower taxes, we're just going to have to wait a very, 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 very long time to get our oil rigs. So if we have taxes high for now, then we lower taxes for a very long time. So we're going to have high taxes for a while. We're bringing in like 13 people or whatnot. It's fine. I'll adjust taxes. We need money first. Got to make money and then spend it to make it again. There we go. All right, now we got a bunch of oil rigs along the whole path. That should do us some good. Yeah, so as we're building a new economy, or as we're expanding in this economy, we definitely want to make sure we are very delicate with our uh, handling of the situation. So if we see these uh, oil drills are not cheap. They cost money. So we want to make sure we're doing good. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at all that traffic. There goes all that oil and logs and everything else. Beautiful. Awesome. Mm, traffic's only held up by that traffic light now. Good. It's actually moving. Beautiful. All right, build more industrial zones they want. We'll get to that soon enough. Yeah, each one of these offshore oil rigs is like $50,000. So, uh, yeah, we definitely want the cash. Because that's about 50000 plus these are like... Yeah, it's like 30000 for that. So we're going we're gonna to need a little bit of money. Just a little bit. Okay, so this looks good over here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we're going to build uh, some roads down by the ocean front. Actually, maybe I should smooth out the rest of this land so we can actually use it. Nah, we better save it for the offshore oil rigs. 
How's it going? It's going good, Kenneth. How are you, man? How was your day? Oh, look at that. The office has uh, definitely moved in quick. I wonder if we could build a few more of those. Let's do a couple more offices for the, the monies. Wow, there's so much more space we can fill in. Let's build a little area over here. Do, 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 do. There we go. I wonder if that even has water. Oh, it does. Perfect. Uh, we're going to do mining soon. Uh, right now I want to do oil, but we have plenty of area over here ready for mining. Can I play Hearts of Iron? If this video gets up to 2,500 likes, I can play Hearts of Iron, yeah. If I'm going to do something new, i got to have you guys' support. So let me know you're with me. we got to charge together. Big ol' oorah charge. All right, look at that good. Tons of cash coming in. All right, these uh, oil offshore oil rigs are going to need power. Lots of it. So we better build a power line that goes down there. Oh, you know what? Oh, we could build a big roundabout down here. We should probably do that. I think there's going to be a lot of traffic that comes down this way. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Okay. okay. I'm going to try to uh, make this a square edge. Ooh, look at this. Malachi, thank you very much for subscribing. Appreciate having you here. What's up, Marcus? This is a really easy way to make square edges. I like using WSD like this. Shout out. Oh, Daniel, welcome. Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's do a big roundabout down here. I think we're going to get a lot of traffic from uh, all the industrial zones and the inner city that we're going to build. So let's try to put it down here. Yeah, so uh, Andrew Bell, instead of spamming chat repeatedly with the same information, why don't you run from air? Don't spam, man. Once is enough. Let's see if we can build it this way. No, that's not going to work. So for all you making game requests, game requests are only accepted from those who are members, so make sure you click or tap that join button, otherwise uh, your request just can't be, uh, can't do it unless you're a member. So become a member today, click or tap that join button, and judging by the uh, many of you who won't, we probably won't play those games because they don't get the support. Spamming a live stream repeatedly with the hey you should play, hey you should play, hey you should play is not going to get us to play it. You have to show your support. So if you do, then I will make sure I play it. I know you won't, so I probably won't play it. It's just the way the game works. I need to make a perfect edge here, but apparently... I can't, like, make a... Ah, that's good enough, I think. Alright, that's good. That's much better than what we had before. 
All right, now we got to get some coastal roads to go down here. How are we going to get down the mountain? Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, so we're going to build a uh, storage, I think, over here. Or actually, this is going to be our manufacturing zone over there. That should work really nice. Yay. All right, logging's going good. We're almost up to that half million. So I'm going to get some more power going down here. Okay, so now we got to get some uh, offshore oil rigs going. Big old shout out for the members. It says Colt, thank you, Colt, for your support. Appreciate having you with us, man. Thanks for tuning in today. All right, we got to get some more connections going to this main road. Otherwise, it's going to be busy. Oh, we're getting ready for that offshore oil rig. It's going to be cool. Oh, we got to make another tier here. I need more soil. Yay, thank you, Colt. Boop, 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 boop. Right, we're trying to smooth everything out here now. Make as much uh, space for building as we can. Okay, looking good. But the soil really goes by quickly. How's that even underwater? Oh, wow, there's a little bit of water coming up. Uh, let's see if I can build a little wall. City skyline soil is horrible. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that you have like a limited, uh, you have kind of like a limited amount that you can hold, but. It's okay. There, that should help. How do you join? You can click or tap that join button down below. Look around for a join button if you don't see it. It's just not available in your country. okay. I don't expect it to be perfect over there. Okay, so now we have, we're approaching like half a million. I'm going to get to a half a million dollars now and then we're going to start building some uh, offshore oil rigs. Luckily we're still bringing in all the, sucking up all the oil over here. It's good. Yeah, there's plenty of mods for this game. That's right. Alright, almost time for some offshore oil rigs. If you haven't already too, I'd love to see some more people join in our city, so become a member of our town today. Click or tap that subscribe button, and I'll give you a shout out here for becoming a subscriber too. It's cool we get to interact live, and I get to thank you live. If you subscribe to any other channels, they don't they don't get to say anything to you, but right now, here right now I do. So if you're new, take a big, big risk and subscribe. Oh, it's, it's scary. We'd love to have your support. All right, let's see. 
All right, we're almost up to that half million, and then we're going to make our offshore oil rigs. It's going to be cool. Our pollution's all clearing up, too. Look at that. All of it's going out to sea. It'll be gone soon enough. You can actually kind of see it making its way out there. Very nice. Okay, almost time for the big build. Looks like we're short on paper and plastics. We just need more to get down from the top of the city. Oh, look. Ooh. Yeah, that's a very important road. That's the only area our supplies are coming in from. I should probably make another road here so they can get down into the city easily. Actually get to this road and then they... Oh, they might be able to come over this way. Hmm. Alright, we got to make better ways to get traffic down here. I'm going to make an industrial road that sneaks around. Well, maybe we better make it a regular road. Alright, let's try something new. New subscriber shout out. Jane, welcome aboard and thank you for subscribing. That looks nice. So that is now a way for traffic to get down. Yes. We better make that a down only. Eh. Well, at least it's a bypass now. Well, that turned out actually somewhat decent for City Skylines. Very nice. Alright, now we got our half a million. So let's go ahead and adjust our taxes now. I'll set it back to 10. All according to plan so far. New subscriber shout out. UWU, thanks for subbing. Our biggest problem is that if our oil's coming from over here, it's never going to make it over there. So we got to like move some of our oil facilities over here. Boy, look at all that traffic. Oh man. That is crazy. Actually, maybe we better finish up over here before we build those rigs. All right, I wanna, I'm going to move some of the businesses over here. Because the oil is pretty much done on this side of the river, right? We're out of oil over here. Pretty much. There's still a few little spots with oil, like up here. but And especially down there. But it's not worth... Uh, well. Maybe I can build a little road out there for two of them. We'll build a couple oil rigs out here. All right, let's move our oil industry to the other side. New subscriber shout out. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Welcome. All right, let's go over here. I guess that's one thing you can do with the oil, New is that you can just... Out move the uh, refinery around. Savage, welcome aboard. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's move these. Start making some more plastic. That's going to be important. It's actually going to be a lot closer now. And now we're going to make some more money. 
We got it. Perfect. At least the trucks don't have to drive as far. Oil industry maintenance building. Workers barracks. We probably want it to benefit the other oil field now, so I guess we'll just move everything over here. like loading all these industry buildings onto trucks and shipping them across the city. It's hilarious. What's up, Waldo? Yeah, we're building again. That's right. We gotta get our rap build on. Where, where's all my rap builders? Where's all my, uh, where's all my members? All right, let's get some buildings over here. Our pl petroleum over here. We're just going to build all these random buildings over here. Did you guys see the first video I released today, by the way? I don't know if anybody saw. Wow, this is awesome. This city's looking good. Now we've moved all of our oil stuff to the other side. Now we can build more industry here. Let's move our oil storage tanks over here. We might be able to put those somewhere up here. Perfect. You saw the video? Awesome, Mary. Hmm. We could put some storage up here. There we go. I think I should actually have uh, some more of it down there. But I guess the storage is where it'll all gather and then they can ship it down, down the mountain. So close to the water pumps and yet nothing for the oil. Ooh, what was that? All right. Too few services over here. What do we need for services? All right, so the oil industry is getting everything that it needs now. Oh, man, they're, whoa, they're getting rid of that oil really quick. It'll probably be a little slower up here because we have few, fewer drills, but... Hopefully we start to make plastics again and then they can ship it right across the street down here to the storage area. Hi, Harry. Hi, everyone. Welcome aboard. Good to see you all here. We're going to be making some offshore oil rigs here. I think right about now. I think I think now is about the time we should do that. So we're going to build a whole new oil facility. And I don't want to build it on the oil patch, so we're going to have to build it up here. So let's build an oil facility for storage and processing, and then we'll start building our offshore oil rigs so that we, we can bring in the oil. Should be a good time. All right, let's see here. Let's build ourselves a big old large crude oil tank farm. Wow. What's this other thing? Crude oil storage cavern. What's the difference? Fenced field with pumping station, other equipment that is used to pump oil. Large undergrowth storage caverns. Building can be placed outside the industry area. Oh, that's cool. So th does that actually pump it from one place to another so they don't need, need a truck for it? I don't know. Actually, you know what we should do is build a cargo port first. That's what we need to do. Let's build a cargo port. All right, let's slow down time and focus on building our cargo port. Okay, so we want to build a nice laser, clean laser edge here for everything. So let's get to that. And I think we're probably going to be ending up cutting out more of the shore, so let's do that. All right. 
new subscriber shout out. Hey, Brawl, thanks for seven. All right, so we're going to try to make a, a nice clean shore. Hmm. Maybe like this. It'll make it a lot easier for creating a dock. And a waterfront, too. First time here, well, welcome aboard. Do, 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 do. All right. I think we're going to make a ton of money from these oil rigs. And I want to make it look nice now that we've got all the money to spend. Uh oh. Boom. It's actually nice that you get to make these big uh, industrial storage areas and stuff too. That's how it all looks like in real life. Oops. Boy, soil just disappears when you're building the waterfront. New subscriber shout out. Kangaroo, thanks for subbing. Might look good. Bum, bum, bum. So I think what we can do is use a, I think, what's it called, a key or whatever to uh, flatten out all the, like the waterfront, make it look nice. All right, let's lower the water here. Starting to look pretty good. Thank you, that guy, for the reminder. Perfect. Make the city bigger. We're working on that. We're working on making profits bigger. The city is... Uh, Building cities is old. Like, that's the old part of city skylines. Now we're building big industries. That's the fun part. Now we get to build these, like, huge offshore oil rigs. That's the name of today's stream, is building an offshore oil rig. We're, we're not only going to just build one, we're going to build multiple ones. It's going to be really cool. Do, 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 do. Whoa, Mary Davis. Whoa, chill with the wall of text. Paragraph describing our feelings. Relax. Participate in our chat. Focus on what's going on here. Be, be a constructive member. Don't need to have these long... Uh, you're not Stephen King. Just chill. Okay, it looks good. Ah, uh, the smell of petroleum, yeah. You guys ever go to the gas station? You can, like, you ever get out of your car or, or you go to the gas station in general, you can just smell the gas? Even, like, as you're getting close to the gas station, you can just smell it? And you're just like, oh, yeah. We're at the gas station. All right, we have a nice waterfront here. This is going to be perfect. We can build several cargo um, ports now. I think I want to build, you guys know how we do it here, right? We always build, like, a, like a nice, uh, what do you call those things? Um, I guess piers? Is it a pier if it comes out like that? That appears to be correct. Okay, let's go ahead and build one of those. Although it is on the oil. Uh-oh. Look at all that water. Look at all the oil that's in the water. Oh, and there's soil under here that's full of oil. Mmm. It's going to be good. Okay. So we want to build... we got to build a cargo port first, though. Actually, we could build our... Uh, we could build that big one that takes the train. Cargo harbor or cargo hub. Oh, yeah, this train traffic. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm going to build a port because we have uh, a lot of industry and we can export other things such as... I um, wonder where we, we should build it. I think we should build it like down here as soon as the water stops flooding or whatnot. Let me raise it up a little bit. That looks a little unrealistic, so I'll, I'll prop maybe I'll cut that out and we'll put it over here instead. We'll have to wait for the water to stop flooding. Okay, so we're going to build a large oil storage area, I think maybe towards the waterfront. Maybe oh, I, I don't want to build it in the oil area, though. So maybe we'll build it down here closer to the oil. we got to kind of think this out so that way it works a little more effectively. Yeah, I think if we keep it further from town, that's better, because we don't, we don't want people to have to travel. Uh, household plastic factory. Oh, yeah. We can move that over here now. Or maybe we should keep that where it is. Well, we're having big supply problems. Oh. That's out of oil. We just need to get more oil out of here. Seems like we've... We pretty much drilled out all the oil we're going to get there. So let's build a new district. For our oil. Can we make this bigger? There we go. We'll have to build one for the farm. Okay, and then let's build one for the farming area. Boy, look at all that farmland. And we do need to have a little bit here for the uh, oil storage. Wow, that's a huge industrial district. Petroleum Bay? Yeah, that was my... Uh, I had a girlfriend who uh, knew a lot about diesel fuels. I, call, I called her my uh, Petroleum Bay. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, build our uh, cargo hub then. I think if we build it over here, it's probably going to be better because it's closer to the train. Although, I don't know where we're going to build our first offshore oil rigs. Oh, there's so many things to do. I don't know what I wanted to do first. Well, we at least need to build roads and stuff down here, so let's do that. Hmm. Let's build it. Uh, let's build a road down here. There we go. I don't know how we're going to do this. Thank you everyone for subscribing today. Welcome to all of you. actually perfect I think wow that is cool how industrial that looks that is a really good way to get to the front boy that's going to be a long drive
All right, I'm assuming we're going to have a lot of industrial traffic down here because of the, the docks that are going to have to be down here, too. We can actually build the uh, road out to the docks, so maybe we should put it right out here. So let's do that. Square up our camera again. What I'm doing to make this square is I'm putting the dotted line at the top of the screen, and then I'm trying to make sure it looks even on both sides. So that way all I have to do is, like, WSD to do that. It's not perfect, but it, it works. Yeah, we're going to get some cargo trains going on the uh, in the dock. We have cargo trains going all over the city. So we're going to put some more down here. After we build our big O dock. We're just 3D printing our dock right now. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we need the flooding to come to an end. Alright, so we're going to plan out our storage area now for the fuel tanks. Man, we have big plans for this side of the city. Now what we have to do is we have to be able to store the oil in order to ship it, so this is a necessary step. Yeah, it's a great way to relieve traffic, you're right. We're going to put our train... It's probably going to come down here and somehow come down the side of the cliff and then uh, link up over at the uh, pier that we're starting to construct. You can see the nuclear blast from all the mines that are blown of how cool that was, I think. Pretty sure. But our whole f waterfront is just going to be like an industrial... Can you do oil pipelines? I don't I don't know if you can do... Can you do oil pipelines? Like I, I didn't... I see there's an oil fence and there's pumping. But I haven't seen any sort of like... Oil pipeline. I think it has to all be trucked in. Well, mostly I'm getting ready for like our steel mills and stuff. Because eventually we're going to start hauling out... Um, Iron ore soon enough. Uh oh. Well, this area is not even flattened out. Well, well, let's flatten this out. That'll give us more soil to build the pier with. Nice. Keep up the good work. Oh, cool. Well, thanks. I'll keep up the support and I'll keep up the good work. So, again, if you want to see more of this, make your voice be heard and click or tap that like button. And let me know you like City Skylines and would like to see more. And I'd like to bring you more, so thanks for being here. I gotta have like some real like focus when you're doing this so you can line everything up straight. Hi Francesca. Okay, that looks really good. Or about as good as it's gonna get for city skylines. So let's square up the mountain again. Makes a pretty clean line when you do that. Oops. Except for when you do that. Alright. Looks good. So now we can make, make a nice square area here for the uh, for the front of the uh, oil storage area. And then it can go straight right down to the, uh, down to the port. Okay. 
Well, I didn't realize how much territory and how much, uh, look at, look at how high this is. Like from here down to the coast is a, that's a very long distance. You have to go down several hundred feet, it seems, to get down there. That's big o' crazy. This is not going to be good, though. It's going to take a long time to drive all the way down there. We're going to have to find another way to bring a road down there somehow. All right, let's work on, uh, actually, let's, let's try to put our thing down, our little, uh, docks. Is this the, uh, this the cargo hub? Okay. Is this is where the trains come out of? We'll put that one closer. Now maybe we could do a little, little cargo. My little cargo hub, my little cargo hub. <gasps> Wait a minute, I just thought of this. We could actually store the oil down here, couldn't we? On the pier. That might work. Oh, you know what? Darn it, I shouldn't have put those down. I'll get a I'll get a refund for these. We'll move these over here for now. All right. Dude, that's going to be really cool. You guys love the puns. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna build a nice uh, pier front now. Yeah, we can even drill on the pier, yeah. Problem is though, I don't wanna like drill everything. We still need to use our waterfront for shipping. Oh, City Skylines, you always get me somewhere. Hey, Dia, thank you for subbing. There's always a little space that doesn't doesn't want to work out with us. Always a little annoying. Doo -doo -doo. There's a little mismatch in the elevation, but it shouldn't affect it. What we can do is this. There we go. Hmm, that worked. Perfect. Now we'll just lower all the soil around it. Yeah, it's never perfect when you build these piers, but it works fine. There we go. Now we can build this over here. This is the bigger one, right? With the train tracks and all that. We're going to have a lot of cargo coming down here. It always bothers me how they always have to build like... Uh, they always have to build above. They can never build on flat land. Like they always, they always elevate themselves a little bit, so... Do, do, do.
perfect. All right, we'll see how much cargo we start with, and then we'll uh, build more according to however much we need. Okay, let's finish up the storage oil storage tanks. Boy, these industrial roads are going to be very busy. Okay, we should be able to make a uh, nice oil storage area there and then circle back around. Boy. It's going to be a troublesome time. Turn these off for now. Population down to 36. We lost like 10,000 people moved out because taxes went up 1%. Oh, boy. That's right. Since we eliminated some of our oil industry, we aren't going to need those for now. Yeah, we're making, uh, we could do some offshore drilling. It's going to be really cool. Is the oil for our own use or export? We're going to be making too much in order to do that. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of exports. All right, let's get a train line down here. All right. Drilling is better. Hopefully we make a lot from drilling. I got to got to get some exports going. Actually, we should probably build t uh, bridges over the train line rather than... Crossings. We don't want the train to get stopped at all. This is our oil train, our, bi our big money train. It's going to be cool. That's a long distance to get down. Hi, Fire Nation. Ah. We should have the roadway go underneath. Wait, what is that? Looks like somebody's house or something. Weird rock formation. build our road this way and we'll have to build the railroad over the road and then we're going to start building those oil rigs as soon as the docks and such are ready takes a lot of you gotta spend money to make money you gotta build some docks and do some other stuff it's definitely a trouble troublesome time in the city let's see Oh, I should, oh, you know what? I'm going to go this way. What? Why is it? Oh. Wait, why is it trying to go f from flat? I don't want you to do that. Start start from here. There we go. Oh, it's trying to build the bridge supports on the road.
Boy, this elevated rail is really cool. How far it has to go just to get down there. So we need rail and road to come down here so we can do all of our exports. And then we're going to make a ton of money from all the oil that's going to come on down there. Because we're going to be exporting oil from our oil rigs that are going to bring it back. Oh, man. Okay, the railroad's looking good. Okay, I'm, hap I'm happy with that. It's almost time to do our offshore drilling. I'm getting excited. Just got to finish the railroad. That's a long way for it to go. Jeez. looking good New subscriber shout out. thank you very much everyone for subscribing here today all right looks like the railroads connected that is good very nice now we've got all this space for drilling that's good oh look at that the pollution has been cut down a lot nice well we're about to pollute a lot more though with all this oil okay we're gonna do a nice uh, farm up here too eventually we'll call it big pharma that's what we'll call it Sure, that makes sense. Vipuel, thanks for subbing. All right, eventually we're, we're going to have to redo this area so that way we can continue making plastics. I can't believe it's so difficult for us to get oil down there. It's like literally being harvested from over here. Maybe we, maybe we need some more oil storage tanks. Little ones. New subscriber shout out. Small crude tanks. Anonymous, thanks for seven. There. Now hopefully that'll give enough storage for all the facilities here. We'll make it look nice a little bit later, but we're gonna move it out of the way anyway. Do 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 do. Alright. Now we gotta figure out a way to get the road down here. Oh jeez. That's another problem. Actually, one thing I don't like in this game is how they only allow for small roads to connect here. Can I make this a one-lane road or one-way road all the way through? Oh, they don't let you do it. Well, I can control it, though, because we can make it a one-lane road going both ways. Oh, there we go. Yes, hello, chat. We'll make it a one-way road in and out of here, then. So that way it should make all the vehicles go one way. Uh-oh. Too bad you can't have an... You can't have an industrial one-way road, can you? Oh, yes, you can. I want that, then. Gimme, give gimme. Give that's much better. All right, so we can control the flow of traffic then going this direction. Perfect. So it'll force all the drivers to come into the area and then out. Boy, I think we need like a roundabout here or something. It's going to be crazy traffic. Trust me. It's going to be a pretty wild sight. All right, let's do this. Gonna need, if I build over the railroad tracks, it's going to have to be a bridge. So that's a no-can-do. Hmm. 
What? Oh, there we go. Okay, switch the direction. All right, the whole harbor is coming together. I didn't know we'd be doing a harbor build today, but I mean, it is necessary if we're building uh, the oil. Offshore oil rigs are going to be built soon enough on the shoreline here, and then it's going to be brought all the way back, and then uh, it's going to be put into oil storage tanks, and then uh, be put right onto either oil tankers, or we can just make... We'll have some facilities, I think, to make the uh, oil. Actually, I think I was going to make... Oh, boy, everything's got to be driven so far. Jeez, it's ridiculous how, like, di what kind of distance we have to cover. Because we can't go straight down. There's no way we can build a road down here. That's too dangerous. Yeah, we'll figure it out as we go along. we we got to be more concerned with bringing money in, though. We don't want to go bankrupt. Zucchini, what? Yeah, we're bringing in, we're bringing in that Earl. It's not, it's not oil, guys. It's Earl. E-A-R-L, Earl. Bringing in that Earl. All right, let's see here. Now, how do we connect down here? I guess we'll just do it this way. Zucchini is the new oil. Oh, really? What about olive oil? Isn't that Popeye's girlfriend? New subscriber shout -out. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing today. Uh, we're going to have to just make a road that goes this way. Yay! All right, good. Oh, yeah, Lee's Oil, yeah. Let's name your company. You should make a logo, Lee. For your oil company. Okay, that looks good. Then we'll just have it swing around. Oh, I'm going to have to build a bridge there if we do that. Uh-oh. Trouble, trouble. crazy uh, harbor this is. This is way more different than I thought it would be. Can we build an airport? Not here. We don't have an air connection. We can build cargo airports though, which I thought is really a nice addition by the developers. It's like a, a building you can build. Alright, well that's a convoluted road, but boy, does it work. We're going to need other ways to get down here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're just going to need to build a road that comes in. Oh. I guess we'll just make it 90 degree. Thank you for subbing. Slope is too steep. I'm not even trying to like... I hate how this game makes... It changes the elevation of tunnels on its own. 
like inside you you want it to lay flat like you'd think a tunnel would go flat but no it's got to go like 90 degrees yeah this is the new uh, industrial dlc that's right okay I guess we have to have the 1,700-mile-long uh, uh, tunnel opening with the retaining wall. I don't... It's because the game thinks that it's a good idea to, like, make an elevation. Like, I want you to go from this elevation to this elevation. Yeah, got it. All right, we're going to go up 71 degrees and flatten out. And it's like, it's not a final, uh, it's not final approach at Dallas. It's, uh, it's a tunnel. Jesus. All right, anyway. Crisis averted. All that for just trying to build a... <laughs> I could have just built like a little tiny tunnel or snuck in under the mountain. Ah, whatever. It's good enough for now. Don't tell anyone that's there. Shh, keep it secret. Okay, so we're gonna go. That's enough there. We'll we'll finish tunnels later. If you don't see it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Okay, let's finish our main road then. Good to me. Oh, come on. Why can't you just put the road flat? There we go. All right. That's much better. Okay. So our 700,000 mile long road to connect to the uh, bottom of the thing is good. Finally. Hater Ali, thank you for subscribing. All right. We're going to see offshore oil rigs here by the end of the stream for sure. I can't believe how long it's taken to connect some of this stuff. I thought it'd be like five minutes. Nope. That's not how it works. Okay, now we're going to build oiled rigs all along this road. And we're going to have multiple roads coming out, so this is going to be interesting. Anonymous, thanks for subbing. City Skylands, come on now. Oh, well, that's why mods help with a lot of this stuff. But we're only showing off the DLC today. Well, that's part of the problem. There we go. Now yeah, we're doing some ro road troubles for sure. I'm <laughs> having some real troubles. Woe is me. I think we'll just have to delete it all the way going back.
we go. That's better. That's better. New subscriber shout out. Wow, thanks for seven. All good. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's good. Alright, now what we're going to have is a million different roads sprouting in all different directions going to all that oil so we can bring all the... Like, this is going to have to be an oil field first, all this other area. So there's really nothing going to be down here except for the docks. So it's going to be a long drive. Alright, we're going to also need to connect power down here. So we may as well do that too. Subscriber shout out. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna have power lines and stuff going all over this place. It's gonna be insane. We're gonna work on uh, offshore oil rigs before we do the on land ones first. Alright, we're now we're connected to the power network. What do we got for power? Wow, we got... Wow. We have 1,001... Wow, how do we have so much power? Alright, let's shut down one of these. Get some more money. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Alright, apparently we need a police station down here just for the... Uh, just for the port. So I guess we'll put our port authority down here. There we go. Okay. Now we need to build an area to store all of our uh, oil tanks. Why are we building docks? Because they're important. That's why. Got them. See here. Please a rig for you, sure, Crazy Connect. Thank you very much for your super chat. Anybody who drops a super chat here today, if you drop a super chat, if you uh, click or tap that, or become a member, I'll go ahead and name an oil rig after you then. So that should be pretty cool. All right, so now we got an area for the oil rigs. Good. Alright, so now power is going. Well, let's actually turn these on because, I mean, there's no reason why we can't start using them. Trucks are going to have to come a long way to get down here. This is crazy. Alright, traffic should be able to drive all the way down to the docks. It's now open. Open for business. So now we should be able to start b building some offshore oil rigs. Our, our oil industry is a real mess. It's just a, it's a real big mess. We've had to move our oil rigs so many times, and yeah, uh, it's just nightmarish. But we are going to move all the other stuff around, like all these old oil rigs. And now that the oil's gone, we can start using this for housing again. Let's see where we have oil. It's pretty much all gone from here. There's a little bit there, but that's on the cliff side. These are still getting all the oil in there. So that's good. And one for the next subscriber. Oh, the next person who subscribes gets an oil ring rig named after them? Okay. Well, there you go, folks. First one to click or tap that subscribe button gets an oil rig in their honor. Build another... Uh... We're talking about the big O offshore ones that we're going to build. That's going to be cool. New subscriber shout out. That'd be Grizzly. Grizzly TV. Wow, that was nice of you. Ooh, look at all that traffic, boy. It's good. They're able to get down in the mid-city now. They should be able to... Yeah, they can come down here onto these roads. And get down here to the industrial area. 
Look at those trains go, baby. New subscriber shout out. Oh man. Wait, we have a, a police station right here. Why is there crime? Oh, here we go. Oil tank, or uh, not oil tankers, but uh, container ships coming in. It'll take a while till we actually get trucks to come down here. I think we're going to have to have more industry. Eventually, when all the oil's gone, we can just put all of our industry down here. And then that'll be that for the city. We can build like a little neighborhood there now, as soon as all that stuff's out of the way. A little bit of a water issue here. Okay. Lots of dead in the city, as you would imagine. It's mostly a... Is it a healthcare issue? Probably. Let's build another hospital. Or we could increase our health budget a bit. There we go. You want the port? Oh, okay. I'll name that as a district. And then each individual building can be uh, super chatted as well. So if you want a specific uh, port named after you too, this one will be visible from space though. Port Tazir. Oh, that sounds nice. Thank you very much for your super chat. Alright, and then if anybody else wants, you can have the cargo hubs or whatnot named after you. Okay. These oil is all starting to run out. New subscriber shout out. My lobe, thanks for subbing. Okay, let's uh how are we doing with death care? Oh, look at that. Deceased 206 capacity 1400. Well, I'd say we got that pretty covered. I think we're ready to build our offshore oil rigs now. We just need to build a area to store all that oil. So let's get a couple of oil storage buildings down. I really don't know how much it's going to take, so we'll we'll see here. Can I have one of the cargo oil truck and oil trains? I don't know if you can have like an oil uh, train. Like I don't, I don't think you can actually name the trains. I mean you can, but they disappear within five seconds. There we go. All right, let's name. Uh, what did you want? The cargo hub. A cargo hub. Okay. Thank you, Lee, for your support. And there we go. Okay, now it is time to build some offshore oil rigs, I would say. How about we get these things cracking, then? Each one of them is about $50,000 each. And uh, I don't. we're going to have to build roads to them and such. We've got an oil storage area down. It's going to require water and power. And I think we should probably build... Like, maybe we should move our plastic uh, facility over here, too. So we actually we have an old uh, plastic factory over here household goods or whatever it's called. We'll just move that right over here. And it can ship its goods right out to the harbor. Well, rip to anybody who lived over there. Now your commute is going to be gargantuan. Some people are going to be looking for a new job because we just moved it. Okay. So we got, uh, let's see, storage. Maybe we should put some workers' barracks over here. Maybe we can put them down here. Oh, there's no main building. Uh, let's see. Main building there. Oh, if we made that road a little wider, it would have worked out, but that's okay. Hmm. I 
Actually, we can start pumping up here a little bit, too. Actually, no, we can't. Well, I really want to build, like, a nice... looking uh, storage area, but it'll all it'll all be based off of how much we produce. I think the only way we can produce a lot is if we uh, if we actually pause the game and like build everything at once, but that's going to cost tons and tons of money. Alright, let's see how the offshore oil rigs work, shall we? And before we start that, let's save our game, so that way if anything happens, we can come back here. Okay. Ready? Time for some offshore oil rigs. How does this work? This is what it looks like. An offshore oil drilling platform for extracting oil industry raw materials from seabed deep rock formations. Extractor needs to be placed on an oil field inside the industry areas. Okay. Well, let's start plopping these down. 11,200 per week. What does this do? Nine. Oh, hoo -hoo, the, oil, the offshore rigs make quite a bit. Okay. Here we go. I don't know if we have to build them so close. But it doesn't matter. There we go. Okay, who wanted uh, who wanted some? <gasps> well, look, oh, there's helicopters. Cool. Is that how they transport the oil? Wait, do we need roads? Oh, they need roads. Oh. Okay, we got to name these after people. All right, you guys are going to have to remind me who needed one. Lee, did you want one? I can't remember anymore. Keeping track of so many things. Let's see. All right, so it was Lee for sure, right? I forgot who the second person was. Whoever the second subscriber was, according to Lee's rules. I don't remember. Okay, let's build a road on top of that. Let's see. Now our oil rigs are connected to the, uh, oh man. Well, there goes all the trucks. Sweet, look at all that oil coming out. So they do transport it. So it seems like the rig drills it, and then via ship or helicopter, I don't know how they transport it. Maybe by, like, large mobile tanks or something. They drop it here. And then they, uh, bring, oh, look at all the, ooh. Oh, there goes an oil, is that an oil train? Nope. It's just shipping out regular goods. I see logs on there, too. Wow, we now have a port connection after all this time. We finally can ship thing out via rail or ship. That is amazing. Oh, man, we're going to be sucking up the oil like no tomorrow. Let's see. Oh, -ho. there we go. And that thing's starting to get full. Perfect, the plastic industry has all the... Wait, it needs petroleum. Uh oh Okay. Time to build our oil industries up here. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. I want to build some other things around there. Mace claims the second one. Okay. Oh, and then Crazy Canuck actually wanted one of them. Okay. So, oh, here comes the trains again. Wow, look at those trains just rocketing through. Ooh, nice. It's, it actually slows down realistically for the turns. This would be so dangerous, and this this wouldn't even exist in real life, but it's really the only way to get it down there without too much fuss. Good. All right, now all the demand. Oh, look at that. Our population went back up to 43. We've created all these new jobs. All right, what I want to do now is I want to take a little time to actually make a decent-looking industry. Because I don't want, you know, to just plop down a bunch of buildings and just have it all disappear. 
So I want to make sure we've got some buildings that are realistic here. So we need some petroleum facilities. I just don't want everything to be like bunched up in one area. Let's actually try it. Now there's fencing and such you can use in the game, which I th find to be pretty cool. Let's make like a petroleum processing facility here. Let's try to make stuff look realistic. We'll put our uh, processing facility over here on the oil, but that's okay. We can... Well, let's find out where this is going to go. Okay, we need... There's so many buildings for oil, it's ridiculous. Let's see. All right, we want petroleum processing. So oil sludge makes it into petroleum. One makes it into plastic. Is there a bigger factory? Waste oil refining plant. Waste oil refining plant process a building which requires oil to produce a specific good petroleum. Well, that's even bigger than that. Oh, okay. Waste oil refining, okay. All right, so this is going to be our facility that turns things strictly into uh, from oil into petroleum. Like we're gonna have to build a power line that goes up and over. Ah, let's see. If we can build it like that, there we go. Okay. So now we're producing all the uh, oil products now. Or uh, fuel. So the waste oil refining plant. That might be what I had a limited of. Because there was another facility, wasn't there? Oil sludge. I guess we'll build a few of these too. I think it's like the same... Same facility with just a different method of building. I don't know. Let's put a small storage building over here. Small crude oil storage facility there. Yeah, we want a lot of crude to be stored up here because it's going to be turned into oil next. Or from oil into uh, fuel. So all the oil should be brought up here. And then we have large crude oil tank farm. So what I can do is then put a warehouse up here that should take petroleum pro... Now, petroleum... What do they need for plastics? They need petroleum and plastics. Okay, what, is, what does plastics require? Crude oil storage. Petro... Petro... Uh, chemical plant turns it into plastic. Oh, this one's the... This one's specifically the... The plant for that, okay. Oh, it looks like we got a ton of money problems. Subscriber shout out. Uh, Rapper Rock, thank you very much for subscribing. 
new subscriber shout Camille, out. Camille, thank you for subbing as well. Awesome. If you guys haven't already, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button so you can see when we go live for more City Skylines. I'm going to bring taxes up a little bit. we got a money crunch. As we have, uh, we're spending a lot of money on oil. New subscriber or at least out. the industry. Once we get this whole industry going, though, it's going to bring in a ton of cash because we're going to have a ton of stuff coming in. So what should happen is all these goods that are needed should be delivered to the train here and then be brought over here. We're short on paper again, huh? How are we doing with logs? Toastier wants a rig? All right, we'll have to uh, we'll have to get some money for one. Raw forest products. Looks like there's a lot of paper. We need to make another paper facility so we can get some more. Uh, otherwise, we have a backup. All right, we're going to make another paper facility. I wonder if I can make it down here at, at the train yard. That might be a good idea. Let's do that. We'll have the industry follow the road. And I'll build some paper plants down at the rail yard. What? I want that all to come together as one thing. There we go. Well, that's annoying. There we go. Perfect. Now we can build some more uh, processing plants down there and get that wood going. Or at least paper. Uh, let's see, biomass pellet plant. Twenty thousand for each one of those bad boys. But we apparently have plenty of logs up here. Look at all that stored logs. They have enough lumber for a million years. It's funny to me. How do we have zero out of fourteen tons? Yet this has forty billion. Let's let's empty these now. Whoa, what what burned down here? Sawmill. Uh oh. I didn't know that could happen. We'll build some more sawmills here then. There we go. Alright, empty those log implants. Let's what do you got to do to supply these buildings? That's weird to me, by the way. Like, when you when you have a facility like the biomass pellet plant that's literally across the street from a small log yard, how do you get the logs to go over there? Because in my mind, it should go from here to here and then to here. You know what I mean? All right, let's see. Yeah, fires happen all the time, even if you have a... Even if you have a uh, fire department, fire stations don't always prevent it. All right, well, there goes our oil rigs. We're going to have to work on our farm next and fill up more industry on the uh, on the coast, but it's slow and go. Hey, check that out. Hickory Sawmill now upgraded. Engineered wood plant. Soft paper factory. Oh. Wood chip storage. Forest made. Okay, what is this soft paper factory? That might be helpful. Engineered wood plant. Manufactures special good plain timber. Oh, it must be more effective. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, that must be one of these buildings. Printing press? Oh, yeah, we got that stuff. We can make a printing press now. New oh, there it is, soft paper factory. Out. Oh, it's toilet paper. Wow, it takes all that stuff? It takes crops... Paper, oil, and plastic to make toilet paper. Jeez. Well, that's like super detailed for all that. Come on, boys. Get them some wood. I don't get it. We have 300 tons, 284 tons, and then just nothing. I don't get it. Chevy guy, thanks for subscribing. 
I guess I'll have to study the supply chain a little bit more to see how it truly works, but regardless, we're making cash. Very nice. How's the oil doing on the shore? Oh, we're barely, barely making a dent in it. Oh, that's going to bring in tons of cash. And lots of people are moving to town with all these new jobs. Oh, this oil rig's out. Now we can start finally building some homes up here or whatever. New subscriber shout out. Very nice. Okay, so the next plan is to pretty much drill all the oil out from under the water and then be done with that, then drill it all out from the land, then be done with that, and then start ma building different types of manufacturing. However, what we do know is that by the time this is over, oil, oil is going to be the first industry to die because it's just we're just going to run out of stuff, which means we'll have to say goodbye to all the plastics and all that other stuff. And then we'll have to start building, a, we're going to build a mine which will be our last industry to die. But then the wood and the farming should last forever because they're a re renewable resource. Yeah, when we when we build uh, more rigs, I'll give it to other people's names. I don't I don't think we can uh well, we can build some more now, can't we? Subscriber shout out. How are we doing up here with turning stuff into fuel? Oh, look at that petroleum. And then petroleum should be hauled right to our, uh, any, bu any business that needs petroleum. Actually, it, sh it should be hauled right back down to the train station here. Or actually driven up to the train station up here. Alright, let's make this a one-way, too, now that we can do this. Hi, Chad. How's it going, everybody? So now we've got everything going the right way. So that's good. Yeah, Toaster, instead of uh, begging repeatedly, as I stated, we probably don't need any oil, oil rigs at the moment. So I, you'll just have to be patient, man. Spamming chat and being impatient is not going to get you what you want. So now, instead of building an oil rig now like I was going to, I'm going to actually do that at the end of the stream. So just be patient, man. It's not an urgent fire. Just relax. It's just a live stream, man. Just having fun playing some City Skylines. We're happy you're here. Wow, we're all done with mining up here. Look at that. It, oh, look at this. It turned into... Look at that. That's beautiful. It's, it's turned into like a little nice... Uh, Like a little commercial area. I don't know what we can build up there, actually. I have no idea. Oh, Karen, that's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. We're here to entertain. Cheer you up. Okay, so I want to build another farm here, but I think we'll do that in another stream. Now, with the time we have left, I think what we can do, and this is where we're going to build our metal processing plant. All this, all this traffic is necessary. In fact, I wish they would send it straight to the... Uh, 
train station up here because this cuts through the mountain. And our, uh, oh, that's a deadly turn. And so is that. Our train actually goes all the way down to the bottom to the other side. Oh, wow, we're, we're bringing in the money again. It's weird. Like, we make no money and then tons of money. The oil industry is, like, not as profitable as you'd think in real life. We're going to have to move that... Uh... Oh, there's actually some area over here to build. We'll take advantage of all of our space soon enough. I wonder what we could build. All right, we're going to have to... I can't touch any of this because it's all for oil. But we can build some industrial businesses up here. Why not? We can turn this into... Oh, wait. That's because we have our farm there. We got to turn this into our lovely little farm. Did we, uh... Did we zone this for farming yet? We did. The Sycamore Sector. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to have to leave all that for farming. That was going to be our big storage area, but I moved that over here instead. So we need some plastic factory down here. I suppose we can just move some over here. Now we're going to have to make another... Let's make another plastics facility. Remember, guys, plastics make it possible. Keep that in mind, guys. There's a bug where the exporting via road makes money. Devs are working... Wait, you only make money for exporting only via road? 90% of my stuff goes out on train. Lols. Well, that's not a good bug. It's a bad bug. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, we'll just convert this to a normal road. Alright, so now I'm going to go over here. We'll grab our plastics facilities. All this oil over here is just going to be exported or have to eventually make its way down. Oh, they are actually... They're making a little bit of plastic. But we're going to put these in our new home over here. Because then they can support that other plastic factory that we put over there. Shout out. JD, thanks for subbing. Okay, let's see. A couple more facilities should do us. Oh, we have a petroleum refinery. What is that? What is that other thing there? It requires some... What is that other thing? Oh, is that metal to make, what, barrels? Oh, wow. I didn't even think we could get that. That's going to be cool. We can build that down by the shore. Oh, dude, we can build our own oil refinery now. But I think we need steel in order to... Uh... Oh, boy, we better not ship all the oil then right away. Sneaker factory. We're going to need petroleum for that. Printing press. I think we can build that now. Printing press. We can put that back in town somewhere. Although I want to expand our uh, other areas. Alright, let's uh, help out the industry by putting back some of the businesses we displaced in our oil mining. Yay, pollution! And profit, yay! Alright, good. That's going to help out the industry for a while. Okay, so now... Wow, there's so many things we can do. I want to see these big factories at the end go into production. What are some other factories we can make? Oh, yeah, we can make a lemonade factory, but we need mining going on for that. We can make a furniture factory. Didn't I already do that? Oh, we can... Actually, we can build an Ikea. Oh, my goodness. Daniel's Natural Habitat. We've got to build an Ikea. Oh, we could probably build it up here, maybe. No, that doesn't make sense. Why would it be up in the mountains? 
I like building all the industrial buildings together in the same area because it looks a little bit more realistic. It actually looks like one big facility rather than a mixed match of different facilities. And we can always build it over here. Hmm. Yeah, these aren't even getting the resources they need. Alright, that's it. I'm moving it. These guys are running out of room anyway. Anonymous, thanks for subbing. So the furniture factory needs wood and paper in order to flourish, I guess. Okay, so now that's all making plastic. Good. So that's actually good because petroleum can uh, and oil are made right here. Or uh, petroleum and plastic from the oil right there. And then it can be shipped. So I need to make some warehouses over here for some other stuff. So let's build a s couple of small warehouses. So this one's going to be... Uh, wait, what is this? Oh, petroleum. Wait a minute, actually. Plastics. Petroleum. Good. Alright, so now we have extra storage. So that they don't need trucks all the time. So the warehouses are to help with like the time it takes to build that stuff. Okay. Looks like we have a trash problem down here. That's good news. We can build incinerators down here. And they won't mind the pr pollution too much. There we go. That'll take a little extra up the top. You wish he'd read chat? Well, I'm also playing the game for uh, hundreds of people, so I gotta focus on the game, too. I'm here to play some games. If I did a Q&A chat, you guys wouldn't show up to that, because that's, that's not interesting. That's not how it works. Alright, let's see. Besides, I don't uh, read questions related to other games or something like that. Otherwise, if I'm playing City Skylines, everyone's going to ask about another game. And it's just like, uh, that's not what we're doing today. Wow, $173,000. All right, I want to build a furniture factory before we go. And uh, I kind of want to put it l near the logging industry. And I really think the only good possible place for that would be up here. And it only needs pi uh, paper and uh, wood, which come down the hill. So it seems like the best place to put that. So if I build like a little road over this way, it should it should be put down perfectly. Let's build it right here. Yay. All right, our little furniture factory is built now. Oh, it's kind of pointed the wrong direction. Hmm. I want it pointed the other way. Our city's so rich when it's like, well, when we found out we built it the wrong way, we just put it all on a truck and moved it down the, literally down the road. There we go. Look at that. We can actually see the building from there. That's beautiful. All right, let's decorate. There we go. All right, so they just need wood and paper to be delivered, so that's fine. <clears throat> Airport Airports are pointless on this map? Yeah, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't do that. 
All right, well, we got our furniture factory down. We got our oil, uh, offshore oil rigs ready. We can expand and build some more. I think we'll be doing that. We can build a printing press now with plastic and paper. We can build one of those. I think we'll build that in the new city. Lemonade factory, I think we're going to have to build over here because we have... Let me do a little planning. Lemonade factory is glass, which should be over here, and crops, so that should be over here. Uh, soft paper factory, that should probably be... I don't even know if we'll ever be able to build that. What else is there? A shipyard? Have a level 5 in ore industry? Dude, we can build a shipyard! Dude! That's going to be cool. And a modular house factory. Level 5 forest area. Good. And a car factory. Oh, dude, alright. So the ore is going to come out. We're going to be building ships soon enough. What are the other buildings? Electronics factory. And a steel plant. Oh, good. We're going to be able to build all that stuff over here soon enough. Very nice. Well, we have a backup with raw forest products. Come on, baby. Start delivering so we can make some paper. Oop. Actually, you know what we should do? I got an idea. How do we, uh... How do we... Uh... Industry info. Oh, there we go. Policies. Improve logistics. There we go. Let's... Let's pop on some of these safety features. Make things a little bit more productive. With improved logistics, we'll get... It costs a little bit of money, but it'll get all that stuff moving. I don't know how much we got left at... Lee's Oil. Highland Oil area. Boom. Perfect. Fantastic. All right, guys. Well, if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button to let me know you want to see more City Skylines. And, of course, subscribe if you're new here. We'll be back with a little bit more City Skylines tomorrow. We're going to expand on our oil rigs. We're going to build a lot more of those oil rigs on the shore. We're going to uh, also um, build some more uh, farms here. We're going to put some factories here, finish off our oil industry, build the rest of our city here. And then we're going to fill in the rest of the city when the oil fields are gone. We're going to put some factories and ore mining up there. We're going to change a few of these areas around and uh, make even more money. So money's good. We're creeping up to half a million again after spending all that money on the oil industry there. We finally got some uh, nice oil going on. Look at that. We actually got plastics coming in. Lots of plastics going out. And they're going to be shipped to the other side of the map so they can make some more stuff. So very good. I'll see you all next time where we'll uh, build some more oil rigs and uh, get those named up and all that stuff. So I appreciate all your support. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And I'll be back in a couple hours with more of Men of War Assault Squad 2. So I'll see you all very soon. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Thanks for being so kind in chat. You're all fantastic. So thanks, as always, for your support. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you.